want to give you a bit of a tour of my latest kimono coat, uh, also called a body map, which incorporates stories about myself or others. And I want to read a quote that I found this morning that I think is very apropos of the kind of work that goes into these projects. It's from a book called The Fabric of Indigeneity, Ainu Identity, Gender, and Settler Colonialism, founded on a website called Marisim. And it says that stitch by stitch as the embroidery is sewn, the heart of the seamstress is inserted into the cloth of the garment. When the wearer puts the garment on their body, the sentiments of the artisan are said to be transmuted and the wearer is protected by this passion woven into the cloth itself. So I felt very connected to that because I do put a lot of time, a lot of thinking, a lot of research, and a lot of stitches into these pieces. And Generally, it's all hand-stitched except for the coat assembly, which I've begun to do because I am now at the point where I would like to continue the pattern from the sleeve onto the front of the coat. And I figured this out just by working around in different areas of the coat, not knowing exactly what's going to happen until um, the idea might come to me in a quiet part of stitching. So I um, had determined that I would continue the patterns, which were these circular um, kind of uh, global shapes, um, very um, organic shapes that cover some of the patchwork that has come to me through many people from many places. And the coat itself has to do with my travels, my travels back and forth from South Carolina, US to South Africa, where my daughter lives and where I spend a good part of my time. And I have been, com have been becoming a bit travel worn by the trip, which takes often from 30 to 40 hours over the course of two days. And I am torn by the idea that I live in two places. I never thought that I would have to deal with that, but I do because uh, I love the people over there. So I try to work out some of my feelings through my stitching and I, um, have used a lot of the pieces that are in this coat now, which come from other people in other places, parts of my journey that I am stitching onto the coat because it marks in very concrete terms the fact that this has taken a lot of energy over time to accomplish all these travels. So uh, I'm going to turn the coat over and show you the back. I always generally start with the back. And it started with a compass, which came from uh, a piece I had been given by a friend and then added on to by eucalyptus leaves given to me by another friend to make sort of the idea of travel and uh, the north, south, east, west, um, a distinct part of this project and the, the theme here. And I um, used patchwork and boro and took uh, pieces from each of the, of the um, scraps that were sewn on here and moved them down to show a scattering of myself and my feelings as I have traveled and um, the numbers of um, times are gauged in these 
sort of stalk forms that are really just organic tree shapes. And I um, have repeated this in the front because I have a deep connection to trees and I decided in the course of, of coming up with ideas that I would actually put a tree form in this front panel and it grows up through a piece that was given to me by another friend and I've stitched on that as well and I've created a pocket. I've been using a lot of um, safety pins because I really do not like pinning with straight pins. I'm always getting stuck and um, these are a little safer but until I can um, firm up what I want to do with the pocket. I'm holding it in place with the safety pin. Um, I'm using these um, scraps of t-shirt material and threads I've dyed and other threads as a sort of decorative fringe inter um, weaving the um, love that I have for weaving and uh, also letting the uh, coat flow in a way that will have movement and I will probably put some beads on the end of this because I also want to make it um, have a sound when it's hanging and moving. Um, I like to think of the energy that I put into these as going into a continuum of energy and that that movement and that sound records some of the um, the effort and intention that went into the code itself. <laughs>